Hey everybody, thanks for joining us out here today on the VSO Gun Channel. Another episode of How Powerful Is It? We have Mr. Tactical Bacon out here today to help us film. Uh, Doc is also running the camera for us here today. Uh, what are we shooting, man? We're going to go ahead and shoot the GP100 from Ruger and 357 Magnum. We'll be using Federal 180 grain jacket hollow point. So if you guys are unfamiliar with the way that how powerful is it works. We have a 1980s, 1990s vintage van here. It's a full metal body, a really stiff door here, but we are going to shoot through the door and as the round passes into the cab, we'll be able to see the effects on the target, what the bullet's doing, whether it's tumbling, whether it's breaking up, stuff like that. If it should pass through the other side of the vehicle, we have a target on the other side so we can see what the bullet's doing as it passes through the vehicle. And then the second shot, we shoot the firewall and see if we can get a bullet to go inside into the passenger seat and see what the bullet's doing there. We also have the Pro Chrono Digital here to take readings to see how fast the bullet's going. So far, we've had some funky results. Go watch the 38 special video. Let's get dressed, get shooting. Velocity of 1094. How'd you feel there, boss? Now, this is interesting. Look at the disruption in the paint. So if you look at the disruption, the, the area is roughly twice what the 38 Special was doing. So that's pretty interesting. Go ahead and open her up. Hello, Dolly. Look at that. It looks like somebody shot a double-aught shotgun into that uh, door right there. We do have penetration through the backside of the upholstery over there. What I'm going to do is go around the back side, see how we did. And we have another exit wound substantially better this time on the 357 than we had on the 38. Also, if we look at the target that is confirmed, we have a nice, beautifully round bullet hole right there. Now, interestingly, we have a second bullet hole right there, and that is a piece of shrapnel that is ripped out of that. And if you look at just the kind of the way that the panel looks here, you can kind of see where that piece of metal was kind of like flying sideways as it went through. And the other indicator of that is we have these nice metal shards right here that came out of the body. So guys, we're gonna move on to shot two. Pause the video right now, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Tell us whether you think the 357 is going to enter the cab or not through the firewall. All right, guys, so we have decided to move the target and the cab over a little bit. We might get a little bit of interference from the A track player that was inside of the vehicle, but um, it is 357, so hopefully we'll, we'll make it through. Bacon? Let's do it. <laughs> that was pretty satisfying, I have to say. I could feel the back blast on that thing. So, Doc, go ahead and get in there and see uh, if you can see through. Well, I don't know, man. This is hard for me to believe that there is still nothing on this target. We have not penetrated the firewall with substantial energy enough to damage the cardboard except for the nine millimeter ball round out of a pistol. The 357 round didn't make it through. So guys, <laughs> what are you gonna say about that? That is our look at 357. How powerful is it? If you guys have any ideas for combinations of guns and ammunition, leave a comment in the comment section down below and uh, we'll do our best to see if we can get to them. Thanks for watching the VSO Gun Channel and we'll see you guys on a future video. Doc, dude, what's the matter, buddy? You all right? My mom is going to be so pissed off when she finds out what you guys did to her van. <laughs>